right, so we're going to do um, color wheel today. So what you're going to need is your sheet. You can this the link is in the description box at the bottom and on below. And it's on my Pinterest page. You're going to need a paintbrush or several, make it a little bit easier to go between colors. Then you're going to need your white and black. You can get basics. They're really nice to play around with. Um, because if this is just kind of like, oh, I want to try this for fun, go with basics or even just little little tubes, little, little uh, two-ounce bottles. Then you're going to need your primary colors, which is your red, yellow, and blue. doesn't matter what colors or what hues. You just need those three colors plus the black and white. Then you're going to need paper towel, a cup of water. This is kind of, this is dirty from my other project, but clean water. And then a piece of cardboard, paper, plate, piece of paper, something to kind of do all your mixing on. I think maybe like a piece of paper or two would probably be good. And then you're all set. Colors right, and put them out on your board. Your red, blue, yellow, black, and white. And your primary colors is your red, your blue, and your yellow. What you're going to first do is take your colors and put them into your primary boxes and then place those colors, those primary colors, right into the circles exactly where I'm putting them. Now you're going to want to mix your secondary colors, which are mixed from your primary, which are green, orange, and purple. You're going to put them into your secondary boxes as well as into your um, color wheel there. Into the same spots that I'm putting them in. Now I made blue purple right there the magenta which is more red than purple and then I'm adding then I'm making a purple which is more of a mixture of both red and um, blue half and half basically then your cyan which is a tertiary color is made up of green and blue and then white added in to get it to the light color that it is And as you can see, I didn't follow along. I just put it into the color and not into my little boxes. And there's your tertiary colors. At least in this 10 color color wheel that I have going on. Okay, then we're going to do monochromatic which is you take one color, which is what mono means is one, um, and have it go from black to say a bright red to a pure white in a gradient. Complementary just means that the uh, colors that are opposite on the color wheel pop. And then grayscale is basically black to white and every other color in between from a pure black to a pure white. And mixing how much white you want to go for each step. Then your tint tone and shade. Take your red, put it in your middle box, and put black, gray, and white up in your top boxes. Now, adding white to the color will make it your tint. Adding gray to your color will make it your tone and then adding black to your color will make it your shade. Now let's paint a still life which is just a circle and the, um, the cube on a table. Now it's a, a red circle or red ball because it, it's not a circle so when you're painting something you're trying to make it look 3D on a 2D surface so you want to use the term cube instead of well, cube is for a square. I mean, a sphere is for a circle. 
And here I'm using red and blue, which are opposite on the color wheel. So they'll pop out. And currently I'm using a dark blue on the side um, mixed with black and blue. And then the top is um, white and blue, so it looks so it's highlighted. And then just straight blue on the front face. And I'm trying to mix it so it blends a little bit better on the sphere there. Now I'm make, trying to make a dark, nice dark green, and I'm painting the color of the table that it's um, sitting on. And I'm trying to add in more yellow to bring in some more highlights. Then I'm adding in um, black or blue to make more of um, a shadow. So it indicates that, you know, the light's coming from your left side of the objects. And to give a little bit more dimension, even though this is just kind of a playthrough kind of still life that we're going with. And currently now I am mixing purple to make as the background. Now the background behind the table and the objects is the opposite from the color of the table, which is the green. So the background will pop, but it'll pop second from the table, from the objects. 